And in today's video, we'll take a look at the top 10 list of the most reliable cars that you can buy for under $1500. And to be realistic, these are not the best looking cars and they will probably have too many miles, but these are the cheapest cars which will easily do the job of uh, basic transportation with the lowest price possible. So if you have to buy a car at this price range, I want you to get the most reliable car that will also last you a long time. So here they are. The first one is Toyota Corolla, the production years from 1993 through 1998. It was also called Geo Prism as it was uh, sold under a General Motors brand. But it is an absolutely the same car, so it has the same engine and the transmission. These cars are generally known to run forever, mostly due to the design of their engines. It comes with either 1.6 liter engine that is producing 100 horsepower or 1.8 liter engine with 105 horsepower. And both of those engines are very similar in design. The 1.8 liter had a modified intake that allowed this engine to gain a little more power. The car has a light weight and that's what helps it to get great fuel economy of 27 miles per gallon city and 34 highway. The important things about these engines is that those are non-interference engines with timing belt, which means when you don't do the maintenance on time and drive the car until the belt breaks, you won't damage the engine. And if this actually happens, the belt can be simply replaced and you will be good to go again for another 100,000 miles at least. But other than that, there are no any other known major issues with those cars. The next car is Toyota Camry with production years from 1991 through 1996 or newer. And this is another example of a reliable car. This cars uh, were designed and built in mid 1990s and that was the time of over-engineered Toyotas and an example is uh, Lexus AS300 that was built on this Camry platform and it was uh, as it was admitted by uh, Toyota engineers this Camry borrowed many parts and elements from Lexus and the engine here is 2.2 liter in line 4 that is producing 130 horsepower and there's also 3 liter V6, uh, but for $1,500, finding a 2.2 liter engine is going to be much easier and more realistic. The 2.2 liter engine is a non interference engine, which means that uh, the same thing is as in the previous case that if the belt breaks, it won't uh, damage the engine. And if it actually happens, you can just simply replace the belt and you will be good to go for at least 100,000 miles. The car is a little heavier than the Toyota Corolla, so uh, MPGs here are um, 19 miles per gallon city and 25 highway. So if you can find and get one of those uh, cars uh, from 1986 or even earlier, that's always going to be a great deal. These cars have uh, legendary quality and hardly ever develop any kind of issues, even with the negligence and poor maintenance, they are still known to run for a long time. The next car to buy is going to be Toyota Avalon from uh, production years from 1995 through 1999. This is the first generation Avalon, so the early models are about to hit this price range. And it also might be hard to find one because people just don't want to sell these cars, but it is really worth trying. Those cars are very similar to Toyota Camry and are actually built on the Camry's platform. And there's only one engine available. It is 3 liter V6 with 195 horsepower. And then early models, uh, there are uh, uh, no division between the front seats so you can see the three people in front and there will be a six people total and overall once again uh, these are extremely reliable cars and easily will go up to 300,000 miles with proper maintenance the next car is Honda Accord the production years from 1988 through 2002 uh, or closer to 1984 through 1987. Those cars are very well known to be most reliable Hondas. Uh, the engine uh, here is 2.2 liter inline four that is producing 135 horsepower. And there is also 2.7 liter V6, but 2.2 liter is better option and it will be easier to find. And um, the base uh, model is probably the better choice. 
and MPGs here at 25 miles per gallon CD and 32 highway. And these engines came with a timing belt and they are an interference engines and it is important to know when you are buying a car uh, to ask the uh, previous owner when the belt was replaced. The next car is Nissan Sentra with production years from 1995 through 1999. These Sentras are known to be the most reliable vehicles Nissan ever made. They're very basic and not the most attractive cars. But for $1,500, these cars will just go and there's hardly anything that can happen to them. It comes with 1.6 liter engine that produces 115 horsepower and MPGs are 30 miles per gallon city and up to 40 miles per gallon highway. And it has an interference engine which means that with the chain, which means that uh, if the chain breaks, it can damage the engine. But luckily the chains are usually last a long time than belts. Uh, and you just have to check uh, the condition when you are buying the car, check for the engine noise. But other than that, there are no any other known or unexpected issues with these cars or with their engines or transmissions. The next car is Honda Civic with production years from 1995 through 2000. And this is the sixth generation Honda. Honda Civic, they're generally known to be very reliable. Some owners uh, encounter transmission problems sometimes when you're uh, going for a test drive. Uh, you can easily tell, tell right away if there is anything wrong with the transmission or any other problem. And if there was a problem uh, for this uh, time, it's probably been already fixed. This Honda has an interference engine, so it would be great to find out uh, from the previous owner when the timing belt was changed or, the, or changed the belt if there is no information. It is equipped with 1.6 liter inline four engine that is getting a great fuel economy of 33 miles per gallon city and up to 38 miles per gallon highway. The next car is Toyota Crown Victoria with the production years from 2001 or 2002. And if you'll ever consider buying this car uh, for this little amount of money, that is probably means that it'll, it'll have for over 150,000 miles. Uh, but that should not bother you. This car has been used by police and uh, taxi cabs. And that's for a reason. These cars last a long time with a proper maintenance. They rarely have any major engine or transmission problems. They're also very relatively easy to find uh, in decent shape for as little as $1,500. And most likely those cars were fleet vehicles and it is going to have uh, upgrades in their suspension camshafts and other components. And it's even better because it just means that those cars were maintained properly. They come with 4.6 liter V8 that is producing 235 horsepower and 275 pound-feet of torque. And also there is a simple four-speed automatic transmission. And the only problem is the catalytic converter on those cars that it tend to clog and uh, over time. And you really cannot do anything about this. You just have to wait and see. And the fuel economy on these cars is not the best, but again, for $1,500, at least it is a reliable car. But other than that, those are uh, great cars. They will run for many hundreds of miles and they are at least safe. And the next reliable car to buy for under $1,500 is uh, Buick. It is Buick LeSabre with production years from 1997 through 1989. And I know these cars look like grandma cars, even grandmas don't drive cars like this anymore. But actually we're looking at a very reliable car that will take you from point A to point B. Those cars are very well known for their reliability and uh, they're like tanks, they just drive forever. It is equipped with a 3.8 liter V6 engine and automatic transmission. And if you found this car, buy it only if you don't have any other option. And uh, if you found this car for very cheap, a very low price. So now you know the basic reliable cars that will take you from point A to point B with a price range under $1,500. And if you have any questions or concern, uh, suggestion maybe please do not hesitate to leave them in the comment section below 
And also, if you like this video, please share it and visit my channel for my other recent videos. But for now, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.